you try to build this relationship with the horse from, for many, many years and of course you're sometimes going to be disappointed and say, hmm, is it going to be enough? But if you just continue this regular work and, and you believe in it, the good things what you feel as a rider, they mostly come back again and then you're back in business again. Never give up. Of course, Hamburg is for me a little bit of my home show because I live 40 kilometers away from here. I had tremendous success here in the ring, just in Hamburg, especially with Casal. Final of his story last year when he won the Global Champions Tour class and get retired at the show there. It was a fantastic moment for me. And the horse really deserved it after all these years. What he have done for me, he knew what I want. I could really rely on him. Go on, go on, go on, yes! <laughs> 42-69, what a way to finish. Of course, a horse like Casal, we probably never going to see more or less again. And for my people around, for the team, for my sponsors and everything, he, he deserved to come out in his last round like this. Now the two what I have here, Oak Grove Scali, that's actually son of Casal. And I have Crunch, also 10 years old. And they are both slowly growing up to the big sport now. Okrof Scala is the one who's going to start in the Globus League and uh, hopefully also later on on Saturday. Even if he's a son of Casal here, he's, he's another type of horse, but he has many, many similar things from, from Casal. He's, of course, he's a bit bigger, but there's many, many similar things. He wants to do clear, he wants to do good, and that is, for me, one of the important parts in this game. This is my first time back again in, uh, in the team. To be on, we say, Hamburg, my home ground here, I, I want to be able to do as good as possible, of course. This is a good opportunity to bring all good riders together. Uh, young riders can join a team also with more experienced riders. To have the one day where we, where we start up, we see how things go, and then you are able to have one day free, and then you can make a choice which member, which horse, and, and you can try to even top up your result for the final day. It's a new way of thinking, it comes even more. We come to the playoff, we get all the best teams there and we compete in one weekend. All the best are going to be there. As a rider, you have been there a couple of times where you have good horses, everything running, you have good success and everything is bright and shiny and all of a sudden something happened with another horse or you are out for a moment. But then I think it's important that you don't try to push the next generation of horses too quick up to that level. I've spent this season or this year to build something with the two horses that I have there and just let it wait a little bit. I'm actually hoping this weekend that my horse is going to give me that answer, not in result. I don't, I don't expect that, but I, I want to have the response from, from my horse here this weekend that he, if he's ready for it. To get this feedback from your horse, to feel that the horse gives you this signal, what you're expecting, what you wish you're going to have, give you the feeling that he jumped his big fences easy, or he's happy to be in the ring, and how he performs, how he moves over the jump, the answer is uh, what I'm searching for this weekend, actually hope the result is going to be good enough, but the main thing for me this weekend is to feel that I'm ready to get back.